Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make two phase creams. Now you might be wondering why would we do this? One of the first reasons is it does look very interesting to the consumer to see a cream provided as a gelled water phase and a gelled oil phase. One of the main reasons we make a product like this is if there is incompatibilities. For example, we may have an active that we want to use in a formula that may not be compatible with another active. So if we package them in two separate containers that are dispensed at the same time for the consumer, when they're mixed and applied, the incompatibility may no longer be an issue. Another reason we might do this is if there is an active that might be made unavailable or no longer bioavailable if it's in a water base, for example. So we might want to keep the active solely in the oil phase until the product is applied to make sure that it stays bioavailable throughout its entire shelf life. Another reason we might want to make these two phase products is for customization. You might be able to get some packaging where you can put a customized active in with a pre-prepared base. Loads of ideas and ways to conceptualize your products, especially if you have some very incompatible actives you want to use together. So now let me show you how they're made. Let me show you the type of products I'm talking about. I've got a couple of examples here. This one here, you can see there are two nozzles and product gets dispensed at the same time. But if we have a look at how product is inside the packaging, we can see there is one container here containing one of the phases and another dip tube here that goes into the bulk product to provide the other phase. In that way, we can keep the two different products separate until they're dispensed for consumer application. It's a great way of protecting the active that might be present in either this smaller container or in the bulk base. We can keep the two phases separate to avoid any incompatibilities. And this could also be customized. Here is another example where again, we have a dual head. Different product is dispensed and can then be rubbed together on application for the consumer. Now in this packaging, there are two very distinctly different tubes of different product. And this is the example of the product I'm gonna show you today. So we can put the water phase into one side and the oil phase into the other side and keep them completely separated until application. And again, could be customized and added depending on what a consumer wants. These are the two products we're gonna to make today. So I've got them in completely different serum packaging. So you can see they are two very different products. And when dispensed, they need to rub together really well and have a great sensory skin feel. And these are the base products that I've developed for you for this video. So let's first make the water phase. That's very quick and easy to put together. So I've got some glycerin here and to this I'm going to add some Silly Gel. Now you could use various uh, gums or polymers here. I'm using the Silly Gel because it's natural. It's also going to build a nice gel viscosity and has a beautiful skin feel, absolutely non-tacky. Now to my water phase, I'm just going to add my water soluble actives or extracts. I've just used some extracts and glycerin there as an example, but you could use all sorts of actives that you might want to use that are water soluble. Because remember, I don't have to worry about incompatibilities with any actives I might be using in the oil phase because they'll be kept separate. I'm just gonna add my Silly Gel to the water phase to form my gel. And then I'm just gonna add my preservative and check and adjust pH. And 
and that's our water phase. So as you can see, lots of flexibility, versatility. I could put all sorts of water soluble actives or extracts into that water phase. And that is how simple it is to create. Again, I've used the Silly Gel so that I get a nice sensory application from the gel phase with absolutely no tacky or sticky residue. Now I'm going to show you how we make the oil phase. Now to make the oil phase, I'm gonna be using Oil Chemia 5S. That is my main gelling agent. So I'm just going to add that into my uh, caprylic, capric triglycerides and my Cetiol CC that I've got prepared here. And I'm also adding some Glucate DO emulsifier. This is going to help with the rub in time when I mix the two products onto the skin. It will help it come together really nicely. Also helps stabilize this oily gel uh, and also gives a really good skin feel to the product. Now I need to heat and high shear this phase to form my stable oily gel. Now once this oil phase has cooled below 40 degrees, I can add any heat sensitive materials and stir through. Of course, if I'm using materials that aren't heat sensitive, I can add them earlier on while it's still hot. Now once that sets into its gel, it will become this very solid looking oily phase gel but of course that is very easily pumpable and even sprayable because of the Oil Chemia 5S. So now I have my gelled oil phase and I have my gelled water phase. I can then pack them into their separate packaging ready for consumer use and easy two-phase dispensing. So there you go, that is how we create a two-phase cream. There's loads of innovative potential with this type of product and sourcing the packaging. If you are a packaging supplier out there watching this video and you are able to supply this type of packaging in quantities less than 5,000, please write to our Cosmetic Raw Materials for Small Brands Facebook group because there'd be loads of small brands out there waiting to find you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.